If you're a landlord, at some point you're going to have to face up to this question. How and when should you evict a tenant? Hi, my name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses. And my channel is all about helping you achieve financial freedom through property. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on anything. So this is part of a six video series that I've put together for you, all of which is designed to help you find and keep the very best tenants in your properties. And I've broken it down into six different lessons for you. You've got demand, advertising, viewings, referencing, retaining, and sadly, this one is all about removing tenants from your properties. Because if you are a landlord, unfortunately, you are gonna to have to face up to this sooner or later. So I wanted to give you a few tips and tricks on this to help you. Now, the first thing I wanna to say to you is this. Try to see all sides of the situation. Never forget, these are your customers. I know you know that already, but they are your customers. You should be firstly looking after them as your customers. And if you go in with the attitude that you're gonna really try to see this from their point of view, you may well discover that they are absolutely in the right. In fact, if they've got any issues with something that you've done and you're in the wrong, well, frankly, this is the end of this conversation. You need to correct whatever it is that you've done wrong but I'm sure that isn't the case. Just try to see it from their point of view firstly. Now, sadly, sometimes you will find that you've got a rotten apple in your HMO. I've had this, I'm sure any established landlord has had this before. And honestly, a rotten apple in your HMO can wreck the kind of atmosphere in that HMO. It can almost, re it can really upset tenants and so you've got to really watch out for this if there is a problem you need to act very very quickly make sure that you get the situation resolved as quickly as you possibly can do everything you can to, to get the situation resolved quickly now if you're not able to do that if for whatever reason you can't resolve the situation, you obviously have to then go through a formal eviction process. You need to issue the correct notices. And I'll put some links in the box below that will talk to you all about how you can do that. But you've got to do this properly. You've got to issue the correct notices to get that tenant out in the correct legal way. I would honestly suggest that you make sure that you update all of the existing tenants as often and as regularly as you can. I personally would ring each individual tenants personally. Don't put anything onto a WhatsApp group or anything like that. Phone up the other tenants. Make sure that they're fully aware that you're on top of this situation and that you're gonna resolve it as quickly as you possibly can because you value said tenant. You, you, you think that, you know, you wanna make sure that they're okay if that makes sense. And lastly, and you've heard this one before, trust your gut in all these situations. Don't listen, this sounds wrong maybe, but don't listen to the, some of the sob stories that, they, that the, the troublesome tenant might be dishing out. Just trust your gut, what sounds right, what sounds honest, what sounds genuine, and go with your gut instinct. I really hope you found that helpful. In fact, I hope you found the whole of this series helpful and I'd welcome any comments that you may have in the box below. This has been all about helping you find and keep great tenants in your properties. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got a ton of other content that I'm looking forward to sharing with you and I've got a couple of other videos you may well find helpful. My name is Tony Law from your first four houses and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.